one of the things that I wanted to talk about is, um, and people ask me about directing, I want to talk about the myth to a certain extent of directing. Um, directing is an interesting phenom, uh, pre-production, production, and in post-production. And in pre-production, you are preparing for production, which means you take this script that you've been given and you uh, have a vision of what it should be, a literal motion picture vision of what it should be. And um, you pass that vision on to a crew, cast, uh, which helps you manifest that vision on screen in terms of motion picture. And I think most people think of directing in that creative process and that's a very important process. But the foundation of directing in terms of getting those images and getting that film on screen is the job of management. And you're managing three things. You're managing time, you're managing people, and you're managing money. And you can have, you can have the most wonderful um, idea and vision that you want to have as a director. But if you don't have the ability to manage time, people and money, you don't work. Le learning this um, came to me when I was very fortunate to start off as a TV director. And in those days, I, I directed like Knott's Landing, Falcon Crest, Hill Street Blues, Dallas, uh, a lot of other TV shows. Um, and it was wonderful because um, I took all the jobs, there weren't many black directors in those days in TV, and so I had to take the jobs that no one else wanted, like holidays and vacations, and I would go in and film, and that's how I learned my craft to a great extent. At AFI, of course, but, but the practical application was on Knott's Landing, for example. And in those days, you had seven days to prep, seven days and seven days to shoot, and that was it. You could get the greatest sunset you wanted or whatever you wanted, as long as you did it in seven days. So when I came to feature films, and I had six weeks to prep and eight weeks to shoot, I was in heaven, because it was like, this can't be true. But TV had prepared me for features, and I'm very thankful for that. It's a skill. I studied for many, many, many years, and the greatest actors I know went to acting school. The directors that I know went to a school. There's not directors I'm saying that have talent, but there's a skill to using the camera. There's a skill to working with actors. I was working on a film once with a first-time director, and I, and I was having trouble with this scene. So I went up to him and I said, you know, hey man, you know, I'm having trouble really getting into, because there's a contradiction in the script. He was the writer of the script also, the contradiction in the script. I don't really understand how to get, and he looked at me, and I'm quoting now, he says, hmm, just be more green. What the hell does that mean? You have any idea what be more green is until this day? That was like 20 something years ago. I'm still, trying to figure that out. It was, there were a number of them, number of these incidents where I've worked with actors where I've been very proud and worked with them in scenes that really gave me insight or whatever. Um, and Deep Cover, you know, uh, it's one of my favorite films that I've directed. And there's a scene when, um, Lawrence Fishburne um, is kind of over Clarence William III's body because Clarence William III got shot. And Lawrence Fishburne is saying he's sorry he's going to get him to the hospital or whatever. And Jeff Goldblum says to Lawrence Fishburne, forget about him. Um, let's go because the police cars are coming. And Lawrence Fishburne says, I'm not leaving because, you know, I'm gonna make sure he's okay. And 
Jeff Goldblum says, this is what's stopping us, this guy right here? And Lois Fisher says, yes. And Jeff Goldblum takes out his gun and says, bang, bang, and kills uh, Clarence Williams III on the spot. And what I asked Lawrence to do, I said, in a rehearsal, whatever you feel at that moment, just let it back and let it go. And um, when it happened, Lawrence didn't cry. He, it was a howl and a pain. And in the middle of that, he says, you should never have done that. You never should have done that. And we knew what, by how he said it, that Jeff Goldblum was finished. And after he closed Clarence Williams' eyes um, shut and they died, got up and just shot Jeff Goldblum.